Hi, I'm Tim Bone, and this is my story. Cooking like that was well, maybe before years ago, but on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, if I could just cook something, it would take a few hours. This was my domain. I'd put on, put on some vinyls, pour myself a glass of wine, and that, that's my happy place. <laughs> but I still enjoy that, that weekend cooking where you can just nice and slow down and just really take, even just chopping an onion, just taking your time, you're in no rush, um, doesn't get any better than that, it's good for the soul, <laughs> it's the best. If ever anyone asks me what my favourite food is, I always have the same answer, it's my mum's spaghetti bolognese, there's just something just really comforting and even when I, because I grew up in Nil in Western Victoria, near Horsham, even when I go back home now, I'm like, mum, you make your spaghetti bolognese, and I, I don't know what she does, like, I'm, I make a bloody good spaghetti bolognese too, but there's just something about what she does. It, it's corny, but it could, yeah, maybe it's the love that she puts into it, I don't, I don't know. So while Tim was away on MasterChef, um, it, was, it was quite a lonely time. He was away for about six months, and it was pretty, it was pretty stressful. <laughs> um, but all the while I knew that he was chasing his dreams and he was doing something that made him really happy, and, it was all worth it. People don't come to Tim's Toasties, or well, some might still, but they're not coming to see Tim from MasterChef. They're coming because they know my Toasties taste quite really delicious, and that's that's the goal, and that's what I wanted. They're, they're not coming necessarily to see me. They're coming because the Toasties are, are young, <laughs> and that's what I wanted. That is my goal. I love I love being at the, the local farmers markets. It's just such an amazing atmosphere because you're literally there, rain, hail or shine, I've got loyal customers that, that turn up for a toasty and you get to have a, have a chat to people and it's you, it might be freezing cold and raining like it was last weekend but people are all, it's such a nice community that it's something that I'm really passionate about and living in a town like Ballarat we're so spoiled in terms of the, the beautiful produce that people make and grow here in our town and surrounding areas so I try and highlight as much as I can in my toasties it's almost like a civic duty almost I feel like I, I owe it to the um, the beautiful town of and the people that are producing these products to, to showcase them in my in my toasties. This gorgeous guy in the market so this is Togarashi so it's like a mixture of sesame seeds, chili, orange zest, poppy seeds and Szechuan peppercorns. I put this in a toasty last weekend, um, did like Japanese katsu style, and he was actually there and he got one and he, he loved it. I, I tried um, Tim's uh, toasties the last time I was here and now I'm addicted. Because of the quality really, um, there is not another toasty that we've had that um, even compares. <laughs> we come to Tim's because he produces the best toasties we've ever had. Ballarat's given me so much support since the show and I've got such a nice supportive support customer base so anything I can yeah, do to give back to the community, I, I, I try to. It's, mm. it's the least I can do. 